everyone, many uh, Vietnamese students want to study in the U.S. but most of them have trouble when choosing a best school. So today, we would like to invite you to meet the representative of the Hub School to more about this school. Um, hello, sir. Could you say some with us from some information about your school? Certainly. Um, so my name is Nicholas Norman. I'm an associate director for um, Halt's Bachelor of Business Administration degree. Um, Halt is an American business school. Um, it is a well-ranked and top um, accredited business school. Um, and we have multiple campuses in, in key business cities all around the world. Um, so I said I work for the undergraduate program and undergraduate students choose each year where they would like to study in London or San Francisco. Um, we also have a campus in Boston, we have a campus in San Francisco, and we have a campus in Ashridge, which is around 45 minutes drive outside of London. Um, we also have a campus in Dubai as well as Shanghai. Um, and again, if our students want to, they can rotate and visit these different campuses as part of the degree to not only learn about business, but also um, different business practices and cultures. Um, would you tell me more about um a strong major of your school? Sure. Um, the undergraduate students choose between five different majors in their third year. Uh, they choose between marketing, management, entrepreneurship, um, finance uh, and accounting. Mm, so how about the entry requirement for the undergraduate student? Sure. So um, every school today will, will say that they have a holistic approach to an application. Um, and I think that's certainly true for Halt as well. There are lots of different things to consider when someone applies. Uh, we look at, gra at grades, uh, we look carefully at how good of a student someone that applies is, um, but we also look at the person applying. Um, looking at transcripts will give us a great insight into how good of a student someone is. But there is a second part of an application and that is um, who is this person? Um, we have a highly practical way of teaching business and we're really interested in finding students who would thrive in that kind of learning environment. Um, our students work uh, very much in teams, various teams, throughout their degrees at Halt. Um, students uh, consult for companies. Um, students work on an eight-month eight consulting project in their fourth year as undergraduate students. Um, and we're looking for people who learn well in this kind of setting. Um, so we also interview everyone that applies. Um, we are looking for a personal statement um, that can be either written or a video personal statement um, and we're also asking for a letter of recommendation and all of these documents and the interview together will decide um, if someone is a good fit for HALT and if someone is accepted to our one of our degrees. Okay, yes, so how about the requirement for an undergraduate for a graduate student? Um, the only difference between an undergraduate and a postgraduate application um, in terms of what to submit is that for postgraduate students, um, so um, mastery in marketing, finance or international business, as well as the, uh, an MBA or a part-time executive MBA, um, is that for the postgraduate programs we're asking for two letters of recommendation as well as a CV. Um, otherwise, the admission requirements or the, the application documents we're asking for are the same. Mm, you say that your school is strong in about business, uh, marketing and accounting. So would you say with me about uh, marketing, what a student will study? Um, well, I think for the details of the different majors, it's much better that students go to our website and, uh, and read up on the different subjects and what they would mean. Um, you know, throughout a four-year degree as an undergraduate, um, you study a lot of different subjects, especially at all, because we have an American curriculum. Um, there are a lot of different subjects um, in your first half, um, and there are uh, um, around eight different subjects per major that you choose in year three. Um, and for a detailed description, um, it's best that you either ask me for a brochure, I'm more than happy to email a PDF or send a um, an hard copy if everyone wants if anyone wants um, or simply check out our website mm -hmm. so about your housing accommodation do your school offer any kinds of uh, housing for students uh, we do mm -hmm. uh, we built um, a new undergraduate campus for our uh, uh, student in london around two two and a half years ago 
um, and next to it is also a completely new student accommodation. We also have student accommodation for our undergraduate students in San Francisco, but it's around half an hour commute from campus. Yes, uh, about the Costner scholarship, do your school have for international students? Uh, we do. One of the unique things about ALT is that we pretty much only have international students. Yes. Um, it's uniquely international because of the seven different campus locations we have, but also because of the students themselves. The student body is uniquely international uh, because there's no single nationality that dominates any of our campuses. Um, on the um, undergraduate side, uh, there is no nationality that represents more than 8% of the student body. And that's quite unique. Um, and this also means that everyone has the same opportunities when it comes to scholarships and financial aid. Everyone can apply for financial aid and everyone can apply for a scholarship. Yes, so how about the requirement for the scholarship? So we have um, three different scholarship types, I'd say. Um, one is um, grade-based. We have something called the, the Academic Excellence Scholarship. Um, and simply put, if your grades are good enough, you will get that scholarship. It's not something you apply for. As we review an application and as we review transcripts, um, we will review everyone for this um, grade-based scholarship. We also have um, something called impact scholarships, and they are essay-based. Uh, so we have four different um, scholarship topics for people to choose from. You write an essay around that topic. In some cases, you also have an interview with a panel in London or San Francisco for undergraduate students. Um, and then you have a chance of one of those. We also have three full scholarships um, for people applying for our intakes next year. Um, but to limit expectations, there are three and we receive very many applications. Mm -hmm. So how about the intake in the next year? Uh, well, every year Halt grows. Um, it's one of the great things about working for, for Halt. It's a growing company, it's a growing school, uh, which is exciting. So, um, I, I don't know how large the intake will be next year. But we have around 700, I think, undergraduate students in London and uh, around 350 undergraduate students in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. uh, next year that will be um, slightly more. Would you say me more about the facility, about the activity in your school? Um, well, we have clubs and societies at all of our different campuses. Um, our, our students are very active. The postgraduate programs are just one-year degrees and incredibly intense. Um, so perhaps less so on the postgraduate sites, although they are very ambitious too. Um, but undergraduate students um, have very many different clubs and societies and very many extracurricular things that they do. Um, most of our clubs and societies are student-led, um, and as long as there is, um, as long as there are a couple of students uh, at any single campus interested in one thing, um, the school will support them in, in, in launching a new um, club and society if that doesn't already exist. Yes. Uh, so, uh, would you tell me why international students should choose your school to study? Um, I think. We are, when I think of HALT, I think um, of two things in particular. One is that we are um, the world's most international business school. It's something we say, but I, I really believe it's true. Um, we're, we're the world's most international business school for two main reasons. Like I said before, the, the multiple campus locations. It's not unique to offer exchange opportunities, but I think it's unique to do it within the same organizations in so many different key business cities in the world. Um, it wouldn't disrupt studies in any way if students choose to go from one campus to the other. Um, and it's also uniquely international because of the student body itself. Um, so that's one, we are incredibly international. It's absolutely fair to say that our students graduate with an international understanding and a global perspective. Um, I think the second thing is the way in which we teach, which I think is especially important in a business education. To quote our global dean, to truly understand business today, you need the element of doing. It's true that our students come to classes too and they listen to what I think are fantastic uh, professors, but they also spend a lot of time outside of the classroom. They work a lot in teams. We put them through various business simulations. And they learn a lot by working in teams on case studies. Um, and then they have this capstone project, which is and um, for undergraduate students, a, an eight-month consulting project for a company in the final year. 
um, and postgraduate students choose between two different challenges as their capstone project. One is the same type of consulting project um, on a real world uh, actual problem that a business is facing. Uh, the second um, challenge that postgraduate students can choose um, is something called the startup challenge where they for eight months build um, a business plan for a new enterprise. For the student uh, first time that study in the US, would you tell them some tip to uh, study well in the US? To study well in the US? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> um, I think um, to be a good student, um, I guess the same recipe applies for anywhere in the world. I think if, if you have the opportunity to visit different parts of the world, that's an amazing added benefit to an education. Um, I'm really excited about American education, because, you know, I'm partial, we, I work for an American school. Um, but I think if you look at American, uh, an American application, I think it's still true today that it is more value put towards the person behind the grades um, and to really evaluate um, you know, who someone is that, who someone is that applies. Um, and not just how good of a student they are. You know, we really prefer statements, personal statements, either written or video, to really show us, um, you know, to really show personality and, and to help us differentiate between everyone, um, everyone that applies. Um, um, and I think it is also perhaps less of a difference today, but, um, but still, I mean, American education is very, um, is based a lot on learning, um, you know, learning by doing and not just theory and not just coming to class and listen to amazing professors, but still, um, still theory. Um, I know that Holt really focuses on both theory and practice. Um, I think that's generally true for American education and um, I'm excited about that. I think it's also worth mentioning the American curriculum, which is um, we'd had, which has the structure of two parts where the first half is general um, and the second half is more towards the major specialization in, in one area. Um, and that's true for, for even for our students. Even though Halt is a business school, even though we only have one undergraduate program and it's a business program and business degree, our students still um, start by having a very broad curriculum. Um, they study some non-business subjects still. Um, and we think this is a great way of doing undergraduate education. It makes our students more interesting people, regardless of what they choose to do later in life. Yes. So uh, after finishing your study, students study in your school, uh, do your school help students to find a job? Um, yeah, our, our um, statistics um, are pretty good from the career service team. Um, around a third of our students are looking to do a master. Um, it's easier to track career employment on the postgraduate side because everyone, or almost everyone, is looking for employment straight away. Um, it, it's more and more common for undergraduate students to do a master degree. Um, and like I said, around a third of our undergraduate students um, have that goal when they graduate. Um, but um, um, out of the rest, there are only around 10% that don't find employment. Um, I think we track six months after graduation. Um, so around uh, 90, it's between 90 and 91% um, find what they're looking for either in postgraduate education um, or employment, whether that's self-employment, we after all have a major in entrepreneurship, um, or if that is employment for a company. So thank you so much for your study. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, okay, everyone, we just know many information about the Hope School. And if you need more information about this school, please feel free to contact with us.